Okay, I want to show you what I have so far with this box. I don't know if you can see the difference from the last time I worked on it. I got the tennis shoes kind of popping. I um, got some, it all shaded with some uh, plum, plum cherry or plum, chocolate plum or something color all on these corners to darken it. Anywhere where it's going to be darker, I shaded right here to show that the lace is going over right here. And then I took something called Hot Shots and that's this stuff. And I took just a little bit of it and you can see this lightens it and brightens it up just a little bit on a dry brush and kind of scrubbed it on. You can see just on the very tops where it's going to be closest to you. So I did that and then right now I've got these all painted in a gray and then I have a metallic silver I'll go over them but for now I just base coated the eyelets in gray and I also did the laces where they're coming out right here darkened them and right here and this you can see it's turned over and just a little bit of everything and remember there's going to be a flower right here so I don't have to paint the rest of that and I shaded around right here in the things in the corners to kind of make them show that those are rounded kind of pops that up and I might even take and highlight some white right here some bright white just dry brushed on and I was just going to show you real quick how I shade around the edges so in my paintbrush make sure my paintbrush is wet and then I'm gonna take it on a sorry I'm not very prepared on a paper towel I'm trying to do it with one hand and if you can see I'm just gonna kind of take a little bit of the water out of there and then I'm gonna take a little water on my finger and I am gonna I'll just do this piece right here get it wet a little and then the corner this is a ankle brush I'm just gonna put a little bit in the corner it's kind of hard to do this through the lens. I'm trying to paint through the lens so you see what I'm doing. And you see how it's gradually darker over here and then it gets lighter. That's going to give me my float, my graduated color. So then right here, I'm going to go right here and I'm going to float this color on. That's a little dark. I'm going to kind of bring it off just like like that and I'm gonna go all around the shoes and do that and that is gonna show that they're the shoes are right there see it's real easy and if you had to you could take a mop and kind of pounce some of the color off of there but that you can see I have already done one coat all the way around the edge anything that you want to do always think of what's behind is going to get the darker color and what's closest to you usually is going to get the lighter color and overlapping think of that so you want the darker right there and I tried to do those shoelaces so it looks just like a pair of shoelaces sitting there so that's as far as I got and I'll finish shading around the edges get a little highlight right here to pop that out because that's the highest part and then I'll put their name, Amanda and Anthony, maybe with some red with a black um, liner around the edges. And then get that flower right here. And then I'll finish painting the flowers on here. And there's some leaves I have to finish. And varnish it with some clear matte finish. And it will be ready to give to them. And I will clear varnish the inside also. And you'll see the bottom when I have the imitation uh, Mod Podge in there. So I just wanted to show you how far I've gotten. I think it's turning out really cute. It looks so cute. Okay, hope you're having a good day. Bye-bye.